Hey guys, this is Taylor Sal again with an update video for Euro Europa Universalis 4. Uh, today they announced that the, the, the 1.9 update was coming out. And of course, this means that your mods will not work with 1.9. Unless the mod developers were planning to update it exactly at the same time, but I'm pretty sure they won't. So, like for an issue would be an issue like for example you got all these mods that you love to play well you see these grayed out ones they're the ones that you cannot play because they're not the right version it says the mod support version 1.8 point star point star which means any version that is 1.8 will not work with 1.9 now of course uh Usually when it comes to a big, it's kind of a big update to be honest, but it goes from 1.8 to 1.9, it is big, so there's going to be some mods where you can do it, and there's going to be some mods where you should maybe wait until the mod developer updates it, so that the so that there's certain data that will be compatible with the base game. But if you do know that um, it's okay to do this, and you you know your mod will probably work, what you can do is let's exit out of this. You go to your uh, documents and folders. Your this PC. And you're gonna go look in here, and you're gonna look for documents. In your documents, you're gonna have to look for the through the uh, mess. And in your mess, uh, you look for Paradox Interactive. And then in your Paradox Interactive, you shouldn't have a lot of folders, maybe, depending on how how much you love Paradox. But just look for the Europa Universalis 4, and there you should look for a folder named Mod. Now this will be all your mods right here. This is all the all, this is where all the data is, uh, What uh, how it runs your mods. This is where your data is. This is the mod folder that helps that lets you basically see in the uh in the uh trying to find a goddamn word for it. uh the uh where you, where you can check it. This is kind of kind of helps it. Um I've already done it a couple times and it works well. So we're going to do with the let's say the extended timeline. But before that, let's we'll show you the example of what it should look like. Now this usually you can ignore all of this up to uh, up to up to here. Right here is when uh, usually you can just cut off and just leave it alone. Then you get this part called supported version, and then the version number. This is the part that determines whether it is going to be compatible or not. For this one, I did do it, and it it works. So that means this is done. So I can exit out. Let's do one here that did, that does not work yet. So what you want to do is you want to click on the dot mod, which is sometimes maybe movie clip, maybe something else, maybe unknown. I don't know, but it will say the mod dot mod. You want to go to open with. And you want to go to notepad. Notepad, you want to scroll all the way, or you can just wind your screen and make it easy. Should have done that in the last video. Now, in this, you're going to look for the supported version. And you see it's for 1.8. That is not going to work. So, I'm going to show you two examples. I'll show you example number one. Let me copy this. One example is when you open it up, you may not even get that supported version. Some mod uh, developers forget it or they just didn't know. So what you're going to do is you're, you're going to have to type it in. You're going to put in equals, you're going to put in quotations. That quotations will tell the, the, uh, the game that that's the version that this mod will work with which it will be 1.9.
you don't have to worry about this stuff right here. That's basically saying it will only work with that specific version. If you just say this, it will say it will work with any versions that are within 1.9. That is easier to have. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that. Um, however, if you do have a... If it was in, but then you, instead of 1.9, it's just 1.8. You just simply have to delete the 8 and put a 9 there, and you're done. That's much easier. And that's about it, other than uh, saving it and then trying it out. Um, one thing that I did see that people weren't sure was they are getting confused with this uh, quotation right here next to the supported version. Because they would think, oh, there's a, there's a quotation there. I got to put one over here. No, don't do that. This quotation right here is for this. This is for the uh, picture. No, don't do that. But what you can do to prevent you for, to prevent yourself from uh, doing that is you can just put a space in there. You, shoot, you can put in a few spaces. You, you can put in tab. If, it doesn't matter. Just you can find a way to uh, as long as it's just space and nothing, nothing any typing. It should work just fine. So that does help. Um, but other than that, you should be good. So you should exit out of everything. Open the EU4 once again. And it was the extended timeline. If you look here, I can click on it and it's playable. So that's about it. If you have any other questions, you can leave in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. There will be even a few people out that will be willing to answer them as well. Um, if you have any other ideas of fixing of other uh, like Paradox games out there that I can fix, don't be afraid to ask. And other than that, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more help, and I will see you guys next time.